Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Last month I created a video on building a dedicated emulation PC. I asked my viewers if they wanted to donate and I actually got some donation. I wasn't expecting anything at all. We were able to raise $33. Now, in my opinion, that's pretty awesome. I know it's nowhere near what we needed to build this PC, but man, thank you guys. The people who did donate, what they could, that was so great of you guys, thank you. Here's the deal. Since, you know, the donations weren't going so well and it was going to take me an extra month to get up the funds to build the PC, I found this on Craigslist yesterday. This is a pretty good PC. This was used for three months in a local business that went down. We have the i3-4170 at 3.7 gigahertz. Not a bad CPU. We were going to go um, the upgraded version of this CPU, which was 3.9 gigahertz in the build. But I can't complain for 100 bucks. 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, an Asus H81MA motherboard. It's a micro ATX, not a micro ITX. It's still pretty small, and it's going to definitely do what we need it to do. This thing also came with a Windows 7 64-bit Pro tag on it, so I was able to upgrade it to Windows 10. That's another cost that we don't have to do now. So let me get this side panel off here. So I'm not sure if you guys can see how clean this PC is. This company only used this for less than three months. They had these custom built. We got the i7-4170 at 3.7 gigahertz. Eight gigabytes of DDR3 Kingston RAM, and it's only one stick, so we can upgrade if we ever need to. 500 gigabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive. Windows 10 pre-installed, ready to go on this thing. A hundred bucks, you can't beat that price. We've already saved $160 if we were to build this. Now that's just for the components inside. I'm not even including the case. Now I know this is a cheap case. And that's where the problem comes in. I have an AMD 270X graphics card that works great, but it will not fit inside of this case. So what I'm going to have to do is in about two weeks, hopefully I'll be able to order a new case and a new power supply for this unit. This is a slim case. If we go around back here, we do have USB 3.0, USB 2.0, Ethernet, everything we need here, HDMI, DVI, and VGA. I like seeing that because we might put this in a cabinet and need that VGA connector. So that was just an update on the emulation PC build. I need to go ahead and get a case. If anybody wants to help, I'll leave a link in the description. If you can't, totally understand. It's going to take me two to three weeks to get one. I got kids, I got mortgage, I got car payments, so hey. And really, one of the main reasons is my wife. She'll kill me if I buy anything else. I've been buying all kinds of crap lately, and I gotta stop. So I have messed around with this unit a little bit. The i3 has an onboard GPU. It's the Intel HD 4400. I was able to run Dolphin Emulator, the GameCube emulator, at the lowest resolution, at 60 FPS already, just like this. I'm pretty sure when we throw that 270X in here, we'll be able to run pretty much any emulator we throw at it. I want to even say we're probably going to be able to run the Wii U emulator on this unit. Now, they've been updating that Wii U emulator, and my gosh, man, it runs so good on my gaming PC. It's got a lot more power than this, but I'm pretty sure with a few more revisions of updates with that emulator, some lower-end machines like this are going to be able to take full advantage of that emulator. I appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe and stay tuned because I'll be doing a lot of stuff with this just like it sits for now. I got two to three weeks before I can go out and get me a case and a power supply for this unit. I want to experiment with it just like it sits. I mean, we have it here now. It works and it's a great deal. A hundred bucks. You cannot beat that. Like always, thanks for watching.